Among many other interesting things I learned during my travels to the Faroe Islands in the recent years is that the locals are waiting for a really good summer day since hundreds of years. But this fact does not prevent the ferries from celebrating an annual festival that cannot be compared to any other in the world, the G Festival. In addition to the breathtaking festival area surrounded by mountains in an Atlantic fjord, at this time of the year it is not really getting dark at night. Almost perfect conditions for a unique festival experience to which we, the Blocker Band, can participate this year. We are very pleased. In advance, I talked with the International Relations Manager Froe about the special features of the G-Festival. My name is uh, Froe Stenberg. Uh, I've been involved with the G-Festival uh, since 2012 in different roles. Uh, but since 2016, I manage the international relations at the festival. Tell me something about this festival. It's a festival on the Faroe Islands in a small village called Sirgata. It's around four or five hundred people and it's a very special uh, festival location uh, where you're surrounded by water, mountains, but also like uh, very intimate uh, surroundings of, uh, of the villages itself. We're not your everyday European festival, so we can't compete with those festivals. But again, this is a very unique festival, so and obviously the Faroe Islands isn't a market for any big band to conquer. We're a, we're a non-profit organization, so every year we, we start from, from scratch. It's kind of a big risk project, you know, from day one, but we have like, we have good sponsors that help us to, to, to make it happen each, each year. And do you also have well-known artists, international artists, on the festival? Yeah, we've had a couple in, in the past, um, like uh, Europe, for example, uh, which I believe was in 2008 or 9. Uh, and for this year we, we have, for example, Fatboy Slim uh, headlining. But it's always a good mixture of, of artists and, and genres represented in our lineup. Uh, that's kind of our main goal, too to be, have a, a diverse uh, festival lineup. One of our uh, goals is to like bring in Faroese uh, or local artists to, to play at our festival because we uh, uh, it kind of goes with, with another goal of ours which is to connect the Faroe Islands with the rest of the music world. Well, uh, yeah, we have like camping options for festival uh, visitors and uh, there are many that use that. There are no hotels like nearby uh, and we but there are not that many hotels on the Faroe Islands in general uh, so uh, you know it's it's a pretty uh, unique way of uh, experiencing a festival as a festival goer um, and the environment like I mentioned before uh, the festival is in this small village uh, and there are like three stages uh, you know between all these small houses makes it a, a very intimate uh, and special uh, experience for, especially maybe for foreign uh, festival goers that come to our festivals. So in general, everyone has been very happy to uh, get a few days on, on the Faroe Islands to experience uh, the culture and, and the nature and, you know. It is also a very fun and, and giving project and one that, you know, contributes a lot to the, to the Faroese nation as, as a whole. Sounds like fun. We are really watching out for the G-Festival. And if you want to join us on our trip, then follow us on Instagram and check our stories. And of course, we will do an after movie. Please also hit the follow button on our YouTube and Facebook channel.